Hello, this is the next video in a series that I'm calling Transformations of Random Variables. And here I'm going to call it, we're looking at the sums and ratios of random uh, uh, gamma distributions and, and see what they transform into. So let's uh, jump right in and let's let X1 and X2 be uh, independent, identically distributed random variables uh, of gamma, alpha, comma 2 and, and gamma beta comma 2 respectively so x1 is distributed with this x2 is distributed with this and we want to uh, look at this uh, transformation x1 over x1 plus 2 and we want to show that it is a beta distribution so we um, we look at the distribution for x1 and it's this so this is a gamma distribution with parameter alpha and beta equal to 2. And x2 is a gamma distribution with uh, parameter beta and then the second parameter is a 2. And so that's uh, uh, a gamma. So now let, to transform this, since we're going from R2 space to you know to you know to this, we can't do it. We have to map to R2 space. So we have to create a variable that we can use that will be easily to, to integrate out. So what we do is we create another variable. Oh, this is the, the our original, and this is the y2 that we're going to create, and we're going to find the joint distribution of y1 and y2, and then integrate out y2 to find that leave the density of y1. Um, now I rewrite write y1 into, you know, I divide everything by x1. So one. Um, so that becomes a 1, this is a 1, and this is x2 over x1. And I'll show you why I do that in a second. So now to back solve for each of these, you get uh, this, x1 is this, x2 is this. And then from these, you can find the Jacobian, which is going to be y2. So it's the derivative of x1 with respect to y1, derivative of x1 with respect to y2, derivative of x2 with respect to y1, derivative of x2. 2 with respect to y2 and we get this so now what I like to do is create a picture to help illustrate since we're going to have to integrate out y2 I want to know what region I'm integrating it out and so since we're a gamma and they're independent and they're both positive here's our region that is being mapped to the y1 and y2 world and the easiest way to to, to find this in in my opinion is to to search for borders so the borders here will be mapped to borders here but of course there may be some more restrictions but at least you'll know you'll get a sharp border so here x1 is zero and where is it mapped to okay and then x2 gets free range so if x2 is uh I mean, if y1 is 0, so then x2 or y2 goes from 0 to infinity. And then here, if y1 is 0, so 0, 0, then y1 is 0. So over here, this border is mapped to this border. It says y1 is 0 and y2 gets to go from 0 to infinity. So that border goes to this one. Now here, uh, x2 is 0 and it's mapped from 0 to infinity so if x2 is 0 that means y2 gets to range from 0 to infinity and up here um, when y2 is 0 um, that's where this one comes in handy so if, if y2 is 0 then this is 0 which this means y1 is 1 so this border gets mapped to y1 is 1 and then y2 gets to go from 0 to infinity so this is the second border but because of each you know the we're only dealing with positive values here each of these have to be greater than 0 so that's this boundary here y2 has to be greater than 0 so this is our region that we're mapping to um, so when we integrate out 2 we're going to go from 0 to infinity now to find the joint density of y1 and y2, we uh, find the joint density of x1 and x2 and then plug in the values where we 
uh, back solve for x1 and x2, and that's what these quantities are, times the absolute value of the Jacobian. And since y2 is always positive, we can just stick it there. So that means put these values into the densities here for x and right there. So that's what we do right here. Now we uh, simplify. So we combine the e's to get this. Um, the y's combine to get this, the y1's, and these combine to get this, and then these just come down. Now we need to integrate that over 0 to 1 to find that means we're integrating out d2 and, and it left with the density y1 so now um, we pull out everything that's not a y2 which is this and we get this now um, this right here is another gamma distribution and so if we had the constants out front that, that normalize this, this would integrate to 1. But since we don't, then it integrates to those constants, which is this. So now we put this on top of that. The 2's cancel, and we're left with this distribution here, which is a beta, alpha and beta. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.